Hey, Ronnie here. You're watching episode five of Modified, where we share with you four drives that have been accessorized and customized for everyday use and four wheel driving. Subscribers, welcome back. And first time viewers, g'day. My name again is Ronnie from fourwheelingwestonaustralia.com, the full drive and camping information website to help you and everyone else around the world to get out there and enjoy the outdoors in the comfort of your full drive. Let's get into the vehicle behind me. Righto folks, so I'll introduce you to the owner of this 80 series here. Hi. <laughs> how are you going, Deb? Good, how are you? Yeah, very good. That's good. Now, we've been camping, we've just been on a, on a trip. So that's why um, I'm quite muddy and we're wearing our camping clothes. <laughs> so the rest of the boys are going home now and uh, we're now going to feature Deb's 80 series Land Cruiser. So what year is it? 95. 95. GXL. So it's got the... 1HZ? 1HZ with an aftermarket Safari Turbo. Yeah, cool. In it, okay. Yeah. Very low K, he's only 260,000 when I first bought him. Yep. And he's up to around 280 now. Up to around 280 now. Yep. Still going strong. Yeah, very strong. Very yeah. tough boy. His name's Alf. 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 <laughs> How you going, Alf? Hi. All right. Well, we'll get, um, as, as we usually do, we'll get stuck into <clears throat> uh, separate parts of the vehicle. So, right, Deb, so your bar work, what kind of bar is that? It's an ARB winch bar, steel winch. It's got a 12,000 pound IMAX winch in it. Yep. eBay special. Only costs around $240. Yeah, okay. And it's worked brilliantly ever since I've had it. Yeah. Never yeah. had a problem with it. So, it's a pay for itself pretty much already. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, it's um, very strong. It comes with the Dyneema rope. The side steps, are they. A custom or well, the side steps came with the car when I bought it. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about them is the checker plate on top. It's pot riveted in. Yeah. And the pot rivets had they've become loose, so when you drive along, you can hear the rattle. You get the vibration, eh? Yeah. On the corrugation, especially. Especially when you've got bits of rock and mud that's stuck in there against oh, in the body. The seal, yeah. But no, they've they've been really well and they've they've worked really well yep. out in the bush and through rocks and. Yeah. Doing climbs, yeah. Definitely must have on some of the tracks you do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then you got your rear bar as well. Yeah, the rear bar is custom made. Came with the car when I bought it. It had a jerry can holder when we first bought it. Yep. And Dad and I took that off and rearranged it and made a um, secondary spare wheel carrier. So now I've got two Looks solid, spare eh? wheel carriers, yeah. It's it's awesome on exits as well because of the way it's made. Like your original rear that comes with the car hangs fairly low. Well, this one ah, here, so because you, it comes okay. up a bit, you can, when yeah, you exit, it doesn't hit. Increase your departure angle. Yeah. All right, and roof rack? Roof rack is an eBay special. Stuck it on. It's got the rear awning and the side awning and the rear driving lights and the front light bar and very sturdy. Carry you, a lot of stuff up there as well. Max tracks or treads? Uh, oh, yeah. The Max Tracks, I won them in a competition. Oh yeah? It's usually, when, when I go camping, it does get fairly well loaded. Went yeah. to Durian Bay just recently and had it fully stacked and drives really nice, yeah, works well. Righto folks, we're now going to go through her lights. On the front you've got these two LED ones here. Yep, two um, LED driving lights. These were put on because I thought they were a little bit stronger than what they are. Yep. But they'll come off and another light bar will go on. Yep. Um, the plan for the front headlights is to go the Sahara one unit instead of the two lights. Yeah, okay. Just to have it one solid unit. Do, do, how much do you find these light up? Well, at the moment they're connected in with the light bar on the roof rack. Yeah, okay. So I yeah. haven't got them on a separate switch ah, to yeah, come okay. on by themselves. Yeah. So every time I turn the light bar on, these automatically come on. Yeah, so it's a bit hard to judge them. It's hard to judge, yeah. yeah. That's a big one up there. That's a 42 inch light bar, yes. Um, I did have a previous 80 teaching my daughter how to drive and she rolled it, unfortunately. Yep. Light bar was in the rollover and it smashed the glass on the front. Um, my girlfriend and her other half that have the LED business took the light bar back and they put a clear Perspex in front. Yeah, right, so and fixed it you all salvaged up. it. Yeah. yeah, it is a bit dented and twisted, but it works Still perfectly. Works, yeah. Survived it, yeah, yeah. brilliant. Uh, any lights on the back? Yeah, I've got reverse lights. The square yep. ones on the rear. Use them for camping as well? Yeah, use them for yep. camping, reversing, just to see yeah. backwards. They're on a separate switch in the car as well, so oh, I can excellent. turn them on and yeah. off whenever I want to. You got a uh, UHF? Yeah, a Uniden 80 channel UHF inside the car. Yep. And there is a VHF in there as well, which okay. currently doesn't have an antenna and it's not set up. Yeah. And you, yeah. do you use your factory AM, FM aerial? 
Um, it did come with the car. Yeah, oh, it's not there anymore? No. Uh, the first time I actually took him forward driving after I bought him, it snapped off out yeah. in the bush. It's got a double den head deck and a USB full of songs. All right, as you can see, we're now in the engine bay. So the one HZ? Yes. The aftermarket Safari Turbo. There's the intake and the turbo is, should be down your end. Yeah. All right, so I notice you got, you got your second battery. Yep, it's got a dual setup with a separate switch block on the side near your left arm. Oh, elbow. Yep. yep. Um, previous owner has done it and he's also got a switch inside the car where I can flick them on and off myself. Yeah, okay. So when we camp overnight, I can, so can isolate it. You can kill one battery and yeah. start on the other. Yep, okay. and I have my solar panels directly on the auxiliary battery. Yeah, so it okay. keeps that charged and it keeps the drive battery yep. charged all the time, yeah. And compressor, that's a pretty big one. Yeah, it's got an um, onboard compressor. It's got front and rear ARB air lockers. Yep. And the compressors for the air lockers. Yeah, okay. I can also plug an airline in and, yeah, and fill the tires. pump the tyres Do you up. use that to fill your tires? No, but no, uh, once I get it working properly, it should be all right. I can do that side with one compressor and this side yeah. with this compressor, it should be all right. I notice there must be your air con or something, you're missing a pulley. Um, a belt, air con belt. We went out I mean, and- you had a belt? Yeah, yeah, we went out and did Staples line a couple of weekends ago. Yep. Friend of mine has a Nissan Patrol yeah. and he was climbing up a hill and came down a, a hill and both his belts had gone. Turned out my aircon belt was the same size as the one that he needed and my spare <laughs> belt was the same size. So we yeah. had two Toyota belts and Ian's Nissan Patrol to help him go for the rest of the day. There you go, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> had to do it, sorry. <laughs> uh, bit of Toyota recovery, I mean Nissan recovery there with Absolutely. Toyota belts. So two. <laughs> Two Toyota belts in his Nissan to run it. Yeah, to get yeah, it out. they fit. They, they were okay. um, the aircon belt was twelve sixty long. Yeah, which fits one of his belts, and the other one, I can't remember the size, but that one yeah. fit as well. Yeah. Cool. Ian, better you better give it back to me before summer. Oh, he yeah. has, he has oh, already. Has. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, that's the engine pretty well sorted. Now we're going to talk about Deb's suspension and tyres. So suspension-wise, what kind of lift you got in it? Three-inch lift. Three-inch. Yep, yep. With um, super flexi coils and 35-inch tyres. Yep. On there. What tyres you got? Uh, the KL71s. So they're Kumos. The Kumos. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant tyre. They're a mud terrain. Yep. And they're um, fully recommend them to anyone. I've had them on four years. Four Com years. Yeah. And coming you still up got to that much tread on it. Yeah. Coming up to around. 80,000 almost wow. kilometers because they were on the previous car yeah. and then after the rollover they got put on this one. Yeah, okay. So it had, they've, um, yeah, brilliant tyre. What's most of your driving? What's when I first bought the car, majority of it was up and down the Collie Hill to and from work. So yeah, okay. they've done a lot of on-road driving. Yeah, yeah. Now then, at the moment, they're more off-road driving. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And it's awesome. got, um, part-time kit which I've put in it just a couple of weeks ago as well so it's gone from a GXL constant oh. four-wheel drive to the part-time part yeah yeah you prefer Love that, it. Eh? oh my god yeah when I first got in the car I thought I was in a Commodore I had the back end <laughs> squat the front end lifted and we've taken off yeah. fantastic yeah <laughs> don't mind the mess we have just been camping <laughs> all right so just have a look at the back here now so it's got the fridge on top of the fridge slide. Yep. So you can open, I won't do it at the moment because it's all full of stuff. Yeah. Um, but you pull that open, the fridge slide slides out. Oh, you yeah, cool. You can open the lid, yep. no worries. And it's also got the drawers where I keep a lot of um, yep. recovery gear and compressor and spare belts and heaps of stuff that I might need. Yeah, yeah, cool. While either recovering myself or other people. <laughs> Pretty handy. Yeah. Is there a... um? In this dead space here, is there a compartment you can get into? Yes, there is. There are on both sides. Yep. There are, yeah, two compartments that you can open up. That side has jumper cables in there. Got three merit plugs where you can plug your fridge plug, certain oh, fridge plugs yeah. taper down into the smaller one. Yep. So you've got three in there. But I've had another um, cigarette lighter plugged in, plumbed into the back. Oh, yes. As you pull it out, it's still got the slack on it. Yeah, it's just got the lights. I've put the lights inside here. I've yeah. just bought them from Bunnings. You can't see too much during oh, the day. Oh, um, battery, yeah? Yeah, they're just battery ones. Yep. And because the interior light is in that crash height, even though I've put LED lights in front and rear, yeah, yeah. they still don't light up too well. So I've put the three lights in. Brilliant. What batteries do they run off? Like AAA? Uh, AAA's, AAA, yeah. yeah. They work brilliantly. Easy way, don't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Righto, we're now in the interior and Deb's going to run us through a couple of things she's got in here. Um, it's got cruise control, so when I'm going across the, along the highway it's got, yep. I can set the cruise control. It's got your front and rear air locker buttons, turbo timer, it's electronic brakes for when you're plugging in a camper or trailer or whatever oh, yeah, on yep. the rear. Trailer, yep. The double den head deck yep. with the antenna that broke. Yep. <laughs> And it comes with a Bluetooth as well, so my Bluetooth is all connected oh, through that. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, oh, over, what's this on your mirror? Yeah, the mirror is, this is also a Bluetooth mirror, where you can unplug the side and put it in your ear for private conversations. Yeah, okay. Or you can put it through your stereo through AM. Yep. So either or. But is that like a rear camera that comes on here? No, no, this is just your Bluetooth mirror. Oh, yeah. It's got all your buttons on the front where you can... Overhead roof console. Yep. It's got the GME, GME yep. yep, 80 channel, and it's got the VHF here, which is connected to this speaker. It's got um, 25 watts there. I haven't yeah. looked into this yeah. one at all. But that's not hooked up, is it? No, yep. no, it's not. Oh, you got your sub fuel tank. And this is your altimeter, which tells you how above, yeah, altitude, far above yeah. or below you are. Yeah, and it also came with a 160 litre long range tank as well, which fits in the where the sub tank goes. So you've got your 160 litres plus your main tank. So how much you got in total? In total, that would oh, around what? 240 litres, I think. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's a, so your range is pretty good then? Yeah. Oh, and that's like a reading light? A reading light for the passenger, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. There's a fair bit of stuff in this 80. <laughs> He's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it goes pretty well, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, he goes all right. Righto, folks. Q&A time. So questions and answers, Deb. So what, what are your top three mods that you, you would recommend that are a must have to start on a stock vehicle? Um, lift, lift, tires, and winch. Lift, tires, and winch. Yep. yep. They'd be definite mods, depending on what kind of four-wheel driving you want to do. Yeah. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Because you need to self-recover, and to go out in the bush and enjoy stuff, you don't have to go stupid lifts and, you know, massive tyres. No, no. You yeah. just need even a two inch lift, 33s and yeah. a um, winch. Well that triple combo, that'll get you pretty far, definitely. Yeah. Um, is your um, must have accessory or item, what, like, what is special to you that you must have? You, you can't go out camping or wheeling without it. Um, when they first came out, I wasn't a massive fan of the light bars. Yep. Couldn't stand them. Thought, what a waste, you know? Mm. How ridiculous are they? But since getting the 42 yeah. inch one, yeah. it's like driving behind sunlight. It's yeah, fantastic it's like at night. Isn't it? yeah, yeah, it um. You don't get a distance, but you get you get close up, which is what you need because you're going slow. So. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Fully recommend them. What's the best trip you've done so far in this vehicle? Um, in this vehicle, I went to Durian Bay for mud and ruts racing um, through off-road promotions. It's where they go out and they have... That's on a farm, yeah? Yeah, it's on someone's private property. Yep. And um, went out and had the awning out and my little side room tent set up and the rear awning out. And yep. oh, it was amazing. Absolutely fantastic. So it was like a comp truck event, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, there's another one coming up shortly, I think. Yeah. I'm going to ask you about your previous vehicle. Yep. Uh, we already mentioned before it was uh, an, an 80. Um, so, yeah, do you yep. want to... Uh, was it, what, what year was it? It's exactly the same as this one, yeah, funnily right. enough. It okay. was a 95 GXL. So the 1HZ again. With a again. 1HZ and a yeah. Safari Turbo in it as well. Yep. Dual battery setup, um, had these tyres on it, three inch lift, teaching my daughter how to drive, yep. learner. We were heading towards Harvey to do low road and um, she mistook the accelerator for the brake pedal and turned right Ooh. onto low road. And yep friend of ours behind us had it on his in-car camera and we watched it later and she was up on two wheels the whole way around the corner make any stunt driver proud it was amazing she's gone around the corner and it's landed on my side and then the roof Ooh. and driver's side yep. and Idris? which oh yeah, I was black and blue all down the whole left side yeah, yeah had black I had a black eye my yeah. first ever black eye it was incredible <laughs> 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 Yeah, sounds like you're lucky to be alive. So how did you go after a rollover? How long did it take for you to, because you know, sometimes when something happens off road, it's a bit hard to get people back out there straight away? Um, I was okay. She wanted to get back in and drive straight away. Mm. Um, for me to be a passenger, 
I panicked a little yeah. because I wasn't in control. Yeah, yeah. If I was driving the car myself, no worries. Being passenger and somebody else driving is what worried me the most. Yeah. Took me a little while, but I don't passenger very often. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> passenger and full driving is yeah, not no. always fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, thanks for sharing sharing your vehicle with us. No worries. Um, Thank you. Seen what this truck can do on this trip, and it's pretty impressive. Hey, yeah, there's not many places about, he doesn't go. Yeah, it's about the only one that didn't get stuck on it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, Deb. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. It's been a pleasure. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe right here. And take care out in the tracks and trails, and I'll catch you around. See ya.